Welcome back, everyone. Families are getting back into their daily routines with the start of school, but that's not the case for children in the hospital. Ah, oh, it sure is not. When the surprise squad learned one local medical center was in need of donations, well, they had to step in. Western Mass News reporter Jordan Jagelins are loaded up a news car with our photographer Josh, and they're making sure these kids get the supplies that they need too. With the kids heading back to school, the Surprise Squad knows that not every child gets to spend their days in a classroom. So we're off to Bay State Medical Center to surprise some lucky kids and the staff too. Throughout the year, we utilize all of these toys, restocking the playroom, giving children prizes for birthdays and for really hard things that they do like surgery and other procedures. Things that can be really scary without the comforts of home. You know, they're here, they're not feeling well, um, kind of in unfamiliar territory. So when the Western Mass News and Big Y Surprise Squad saw the list of things the pediatric unit needed at Bay State Medical Center, we made sure we checked off all the items. By like August, September, we're really running low on a lot of things. Like rattles, pacifiers, cards, and coloring supplies, to name just a few. We have our inpatient children's unit, we have our PDICU, our NICU, you are outpatient um, so our, our child life department is very helpful in making sure that the toys get to all areas of our, our hospital. All areas we covered to try and help the kids who need it most when the unexpected happens. Um, infection happened. We didn't know what the whole thing was gonna be and uh, turned into be a little bit ugly more than what we was uh, was, uh, but it's not just us who are hoping to put smiles on these kids' faces. We got some Legos for ya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love those. Thank you. It's the staff who not only told us what they needed, but whose life mission it is to make a difference in children's lives. So the surprise squad is doing double duty, also stocking the unit with breakfast and coffee as a small token of our thanks. We weren't expecting this at all. Like this is such a great donation for us. For the Western Mass News and Big Y Surprise Squad, I'm Jordan Jaglinzer.